Hello dear children of class 6 and welcome back. Dear children, today we will be doing the 6th lesson from your GK book and that is Hybrid Animals. Now dear children, before I make you understand hybrid, let's understand reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which an organism gives birth to one of its same kind, right? Like a male, ho like a male horse and female horse, they will give birth to a colt, a baby horse, right? But our technology has gone so far, our technology has gone so developed that today not only we are able to breed same animals, but we can even breed two different animals provided they are from the same species, okay? Provided they are from the same species. And in fact, this technology is nothing new. It has existed since long time. I can give you an example. The example is a mule is a mule. See, you see dear children, mule is the result of, mule is the result of crossbreeding horse, that is female and donkey, that is male. In Hindi it is also known as khachar, what it is known as khachar. You see, it has the speed of horse and strength of a donkey, the load carrying capacity of the donkey. Mule you can find in hilly areas. So dear children, you see here that two different animals, but of the same species can be crossbred to produce a different animal, a third animal, which will have the characteristic of both the parents, both the parents. These type of animals are known as hybrid animals. What they are known as? hybrid animals. So accordingly, dear children, today we will be studying about such hybrid animals only. So let's continue. We will start with number one. A hybrid of a horse and a zebra. A hybrid of a horse and a zebra and your answer is Zors Z-O-R-S-E Zors okay Z for zebra O-R-S-E from horse Zors it is uh, it is uh, formed by crossbreeding horse and zebra same way dear children number two a hybrid of a bull yak bull yak and an american cow a hybrid of a bull yak and an american cow the answer is yakalo y a k a L O Yakalo Y A K A L O Same way number three A hybrid of a grizzly bear Grizzly Bear and a polar bear polar bear the hybrid of a grizzly bear and a polar bear and your answer for this is roller g r o l a r roller bear b e a r okay g r o l a r roller b e a r bear okay roller bear so here, before I drop this three, let's read it again. Number one, a hybrid of horse and a zebra. That would be Zors, Z-O-R-S-E. A hybrid of a bull yak and an American cow. The hybrid name is Yakalo, Y-A-K-A-L-O, Yakalo. 
and number three a hybrid of a grizzly bear and a polar bear and your answer for this is growler bear g r o l a r growler b e a r bear growler bear so dear children i will be rubbing this three and we'll be moving on to the next three that would be number 4 a hybrid a hybrid of a lion and a tiger a hybrid of a lion and a tiger your answer is liger l i g e r liger okay l i g e r liger then you have number 5 a hybrid of an american bison a hybrid of an american bison and a domestic A hybrid of an American bison and a domestic cow, and your answer is beefalo. B double e f a l o, beefalo, not buffalo. Beefalo. B double e f a l o, beefalo. Then comes number six. A hybrid. of a camel and a llama a hybrid of a camel and llama your answer is camel c a m a camel all right and now comes number 7 the last one a hybrid of a hybrid of false killer whale a false killer whale and a bottle nose dolphin bottle nose dolphin the hybrid of a false killer whale and a bottle nose dolphin and your answer for this one is wolfin w h o l p h i n w h o l p h i n wolfin so well, let me read it all to you once again okay starting from number 1 itself a hybrid of a horse and a zebra the answer is zors z o r s e zors number 2 a hybrid of a bull yak and an american cow your answer is yakalo y a k a l o number 3 a hybrid of a grizzly bear and a polar bear your answer is growler bear g r o l a r growler b e a r bear then Number four, a hybrid of a lion and tiger. Your answer is liger, l i g e r, liger. Then you have number five, a hybrid of an American bison and a domestic cow. Your answer is beefalo, b e e f a l o, beefalo. Then number six, a hybrid of a camel and a llama, llama, double l a m a, llama. Okay, hybrid of a camel and a llama. Your answer is Cama, C A M A, Cama, and number seven, a hybrid of a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. Your answer is wolfin, W H O L P H I N, wolfin. Now you see, dear children, there are some hybrid plants also. Not only animals, you know, even plants are made hybrid. Pomato is a hybrid of a potato and a tomato. it produces tomato above the ground 
and potatoes in the other underground. Imagine from one plant only on top you are getting tomatoes and underground you are getting potatoes. A hybrid plant which can produce both two different type of vegetables. Okay. Same way these animals also dear children are made hybrid for a very specific reason. See either people require their strength or the speed or maybe it makes a very third unique animal which is very good to look at a decorative piece okay but children i can tell you this in case of beefalo okay american bison and domestic cow both are a food item in america both are a food item in america and this particular breed of animal this particular hybrid animal it produces a huge quantity of meat a huge quantity of meat much more than either of its two predecessors american bison or domestic cow so not predecessors parents american bison or domestic cow it produces much much more meat hence these type of animals are raised and some animals like liger wolfin they are simply raised because they are good to look at they are unique they are beautiful they can be kept in zoo also hybrid of a camel and a llama you see llamas camels as you know they are sheep of the desert their body modifications help them survive the desert same way camel well, llamas are also very sturdy mountain climbing animals so the camel you can understand will retain both the characteristics of a camel and a llama so dear children this ends our lesson in particular your homework is to write it down in copy you can refer to the board in the video as well as you can listen to my voice. If you have your book, you can refer to your book, but you'll have to note everything down in your GK notebook. Okay, dear children, thank you and stay safe.